Hi, in the spotlight is the crude oil prices and I'm Anisha Gupta and while we have seen OPEC and allies come out with an agreement, we also have seen a knee-jerk reaction in the crude oil prices with the prices now nearly 14% off from its 2021 highs. It also is down by nearly 7 to 8% in this month itself. For the year, we still are 35 to 40% on the higher side. But what does the OPEC and allies agreement mean? How long will the prices stay here? Are we looking at further correction? What does it mean? for India are some of the questions that we are looking to explore here. Starting with the OPEC and Allies agreement and uh, it really got saved after the OPEC agreed to increase the baseline production for UAE and various other countries. So for UAE it has been increased from 3.16 to 3.5 million barrels per day. For Saudi Arabia and Russia from 11 to 11.5 million barrels per day. For Iraq and Kuwait it has been increased by 150,000 barrels per day and then Nigeria and Algeria also will uh, see their baselines being revised. So what it really means is that we are going to be looking at 400,000 barrels per day of a production from August to December. That is 2 million barrels per day coming back into the markets and then that would uh, have 3.8 million barrels still as a spare capacity for the OPEC. That would be increased uh, as a, a marginal every month until September 2022 and that is when OPEC will have brought all the production uh, cut curbs that they started in previous year all of that would come back into the market which is 10 million barrels per day so this is what we have been seeing coming back into the markets here well, the positive is that you have more supplies coming in, but a big uh, a positive also is that it's not a messy affair anywhere. We, anywhere. we know exactly how much OPEC and allies will be putting back into the market and that really gives you a clarity and assurance on what numbers to watch out for. Uh, what the markets really are looking at in sense of uh, uncertainty is the demand also the COVID numbers which have been rising, the kind of uh, global equity sell-off that we saw, that led to some pressure into the prices. And then apart from that, it also is the China demand which has been declining, which actually has declined for the first time in eight years in the first half of this year, uh, not, for just, not just for the June, but the overall first half of this year has been in the negative in sense of Chinese demand. That seems to be weighing on. And the kind of fund selling that we saw in, in this week has been quite strong. 150% higher than what we saw in the previous week is what the volumes has been. So that tells you that the sell-off came in on the back of heavy volumes is the reason you still have the prices staying where they are right now after that sell-off. But going forward, what does it mean? Well, for the near term, it definitely is a positive news. You could be looking at the Indian petrol and diesel prices come off a bit. We might be looking at petrol prices come off 100 rupees per litre as well. But most of the global banks believe that that is going to be very short-lived. There were uh, various um, reiterations coming in from the global banks that say that, yes, there's a price crash, but uh, the bullish sentiment still continues because the demand expectations are quite strong. And even with the current OPEC output uh, being released, into the market, it still is less than what we have seen global inventories deplete as and uh, less than what the pent-up demand is expected and the growth that the markets are looking at in Asia and the developed world as well. So Credit Suisse says that uh, the Brent prices will still average $70 per barrel in 2021 and WTI at 67 and they expect the prices to go back to gains from here on. Goldman Sachs still says that Brent will uh, hit $80 per barrel in third or the fourth quarter. You have Bank of America saying that the Brent will average $68 per barrel in this year and Citi says that the Brent prices could still hit for $80 per barrel by the fourth quarter of 2021. So this is what the banks really seem to be working with that once all of this settles down we still are looking at higher crude oil prices if not immediately then in the fourth quarter of 2021 so the immediate pain perhaps has been taken away there's a sigh of relief from the crude consumers and importers like india but how much will that last will really tell you depending upon on what shale does what is the kind of demand recovery and what kind of covid cases are we looking at in the next quarter or so